Additional housing in the downtown area, as well as a multi-level restaurant and rooftop bar, were the topics of discussion in today's city council meeting. This is pretty neat. Curtis yeah. Jackson was at that meeting, and Curtis, city officials say both of these projects could have a significant impact on the growth of downtown. Yeah, that's right. When I spoke to Petroleum Building owner Will Kelty about his housing project, he says it would virtually double the amount of living space in downtown, which could mean more money for local businesses in the area. The city council today unanimously approved the first step to making it happen. This has been a marathon for me. Will Kelty is a man on a mission, and today he's one step closer to completing that mission. I went in front of the city council and I asked them for consideration to do what's called a, t a tax abatement on the property. Kelty has been working for years trying to turn the old petroleum building that has sat vacant for more than a decade into 170 housing units. But he can't get it done without this tax abatement. It doesn't mean that you don't pay property taxes. What it means is that uh, your property taxes continue from their current value, um, and over the course of 10 years, they step up to the value of what uh, the finished product is going to be. The city council approved creating a reinvestment zone for the property, which paves the way in March for the tax abatement. If that is approved, Executive Director for Downtown Wichita Falls Development, Janice Schmader, says that could have a significant impact on downtown Wichita Falls. It really is a catalyst in getting more people to invest down here because you're, you're centralizing a population now that will be in downtown all the time. And just down the road above Pickers Universe, a multi-level restaurant and rooftop bar is being built. But due to the pandemic and material costs, an extension of time to use funds provided from the 4B was approved by city councilors, allowing contractors to finish up the build. There's so many things that are happening, and I think that the public a lot of time remembers that big momentum where we had a lot of things happening at once. And over the course of the last year or so, we've tackled some bigger projects. So it does slow it down. It does delay it. But it doesn't mean that that momentum's not there. Momentum that Kelty is hoping to add to if he gets the final go-ahead from city council. It's a huge step towards the revitalization of downtown, which, again, has this huge economic impact um, for the city of Wichita Falls itself. We love these projects. We think it's huge. We get exciting for all of the opening days and watching construction come to fruition. So, you know, 2022 and 2023 is going to be big years for downtown. Now, Schmader says the multi-level restaurant and bar is expected to be complete within the next six months. Kelty says it should take council around 30 to 45 days to make a decision on the tax abatement. All of this is just so exciting. Mm -hmm. Every time something like this happens, it just it builds a lot of excitement. Turning those older buildings, historic buildings, into something new and great again. It really does. Okay, Curtis, thanks so much.